What's going on, people? All right, this is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Brushless Ratchet. Um, probably one of the best tools in Milwaukee's 12-volt lineup. To be honest with you, it might be one of the best 12-volt tools out there, period. Um, it's a great tool. It's taken over for the brushed version, which is an awesome tool that has been out for a long time. Definitely one of the most popular tools in Milwaukee's 12-volt lineup, but they've improved it significantly. We're going to talk about some of the changes compared to the brushed version and um, take a quick look at the new version. So this is the kit. You get $229, uh, the 3 8 version uh, ratchet, and right here is the brushed version. So as you can see, there's quite a size difference here. Uh, we're going to weigh them, measure them, uh, but as you can see, it is a really big difference. Now this has the optional boot on it. Obviously, it's extra. This is an accessory. You can buy it at Home Depot, Tool Barn, Acme Tools, or whatever. Um, but as you can see, there is a size difference. That's why I'm saying in certain, you know, situations, if you're a mechanic, you know, it, it's really, you don't have to go throw your brushed version away if you got the new brushless. You, you're definitely still going to use the brushed version, um, you know, for some tighter spots. Uh, but this one has 55 foot-pounds of torque compared to 30, um, 35 foot-pounds uh, for the brushed version. Um, RPM is down, actually, on the uh, brushless fuel here. You're getting 200 RPM with the old uh, brushed model. You're getting 250. Um, you kind of had to do that for the, the big jump in torque. Uh, again, 55 to 35, almost double. Um, the new fuel comes in three different sizes. You got the quarter inch, this is the three eighths, and you got a half inch. The half inch has 60 foot pounds. It's a real monster. Um, again, you're going to see lower RPM um, with the half inch compared to the three eighths, and of course, the quarter inch will have the highest RPM out of uh, the new fuel brushless um, ratchets. But let's uh, take a quick look over the new brushless ratchet um, again this is the optional boot you can get it several different places around 30 bucks um, something I kind of recommend um, but you got a variable speed trigger just like the old model here it's on lock right now uh, this is a great feature the old version had it too this is for if you put it in your tool bag your toolbox um, in case you know kind of leans up against something here you don't have to worry about it draining your battery and stuff like that Let's um, show you how sensitive this trigger is. You're going to see right here. Obviously, very sensitive. You know, you can go seven, eight different, you know, speeds with your hand with this. Um, you know, it's a little bit heavier. It's actually a lot heavier, I want to say. It's at least a pound heavier than the old brushed version. Um, you got a different in vents right here. Right here are your vents on the new fuel. And on the older one, these are in vents, even though they kind of look like it. Your vent venting is up top here so with the new um, fuel they kind of got rid of that here um, obviously when you press the trigger it's going to tell you how much uh, battery life you have in the tool just like the old version we talked about the lock uh, you got a light also that goes on every time you pull the trigger uh, it's on a 10 second delay so just like the old version and it just dims out. So, um, you know, like I said, no need to go run out and get this right now if you have the older version. Um, you know, it's definitely a much more powerful tool. I mean, I can tell you guys, I have to use, when I do my oil changes, so to, uh, as an example, I got to actually crank this to get the plug off or the plug loose before I can hit that trigger. With the new um, brushless, I just hit that trigger and the plug comes right off. So, um, you know, you're kind of trading 
some more weight and you know a, a bigger size but you know personally i like having it um it's around an inch longer we're going to show you right here actually let's set it up right around here so you're at around 11 and 7 8 that's with a battery of course it's around 11 inches without the battery so 11 and 7 8 compared to around 10 and a half so it's around an inch and a quarter uh, longer I'll stand them up here give you a little bit better view and these are both with two amp hour batteries but as you can see just a much bigger you know head on it uh, but you know I like having it longer again you kind of have more more of a reach with it if you're trying to get into those tight spots um, you know some people don't like that it's longer I actually think it's awesome but it's totally up to you uh, just like the 3 8 uh, the 3 8 brush model this is where you change it from forward to reverse real simple you just turn it just like that um, you know I love it again it, you know they really improve this tool you know the biggest thing with it is just the amount of power I mean, if you guys have the older brush version, and it's awesome, you know, it does really everything you ask it to do. To actually add double the power to it um, just really makes this new one, you know, just spectacular. Um, you know, obviously, when you go up in torque, you go up in power, you're going to have a bigger tool. But, you know, I personally recommend, you know, if you don't have either of these, I would definitely go for the new uh, fuel. You're going to save, you got, you got a brushless motor, you're going to get more run time, you got almost double the amount of torque, um, and it's really only $30 more if you buy the kit, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I would definitely go for the new uh, fuel. Uh, let's weigh them. People seem to like to see what they weigh. So actually, let's start with the brushed version. Okay, 1.96. And with the fuel, 2.90. So it's a pound, a pound heavier, like I said. Um, but again, you know, it's really not heavy, guys. Um, you know, it, it's something that... You know, you're going to notice it if you're using the brush version. You'll know, you know, a pound difference, you know, 33, 40% heavier. But if you've never used either of these tools, you won't even notice. Now, the grip has a, this is the grip on it. Um, it's chemical resistant, so it's not going to break down on you from what Milwaukee says. Um, so, but that's about it, folks. Any comments or questions, let me know. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one.